the Akara recipe that you all asked for is here. Hello Best Tribe, you're welcome to today's video. So on here I'm just listing all of the things that I used. Two cups of beans, one bowl of pepper, two medium sized eggs, one bulb of onions, medium size, one star maggi. I'm going to use that teaspoon to measure my salt. Everything has to be moderately added. Now, my blender is no longer sharp, so I'm using the smoothie maker. I split them into two halves. And also, yes, I forgot to mention that I'm also using one scotch bonnet. You know the pepper here is very hot. So if where you are, the pepper is not so hot, please, you can use two. But this is an exact measurement for two cups of beans. Now, on the second batch, I added the eggs um, and then another same onion but because i divided them so i'll just show you guys and i also added the salt i like to add all the ingredients so that everything just you know have a good mix because i don't want to chew my ghee in my food that's the thing i hate the most you know so i like to blend everything seeing that it's not something we're cooking it's something we're frying so that's why now I've blended everything give this a very good mix so at this point now you're putting in some air into the mixed into the mist and then I've put in some oil in my hot pan I'll put a bulb of onion you know I feel like onion is the most underrated food cooking ingredients it's such a yummy 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 um, ingredient to use to cook it just does something to your food now I'm scooping this um, at the size that I actually want guys I wanted to do aesthetics now where I go bring this thing a spoon I they used to they do them normally I brought this thing was now wants to give my akara funny shape I said I better go what is this today when I want fame you know this video for blessed tribe now in this thing one come it wants to disgrace me aesthetic is not for everybody so I ditched that one at some point um, but yeah you can see the akara looks very good this is a staple in my house growing up we ate akara every Saturday I'm doing the same in my house now see how good that is yeah this is where I picked my you know my tablespoon yeah this is a tablespoon not a teaspoon but yeah just scooping that in scooping that in so if um, this recipe is not it's not well explained enough you can ask me in the comment section i would answer you but i feel like if you use this you're going to make perfect akara my mom used it her mom used it so like this is a recipe that has passed on from generation to my from one generation to mine now um as far as i know i grew up seeing my mom do this this is the only way my mom makes akara my siblings can testify and that's the only way I also when I got married to my husband I see that their family they used to like to buy akara you know the roadside akara a lot so I'm like ah when we marry my mom used to make it so I, you know I'm like okay we'll continue making it as well and I was also happy that you know we're married into families that our values our traditions our food they're almost the same you know I've also even brought in some things so that him himself is enjoying like afan soup now it's not a traditional meal but then we enjoy it because I used to eat it back in school at school in Uniport afan soup was a soup there you know I learned it and he started to eat it as well you know so we're just and this house you know so we like food we you know so when i'm cooking most times k will always make the other thing maybe if it's rice and stew he would if i'm making the stew he'll boil the rice so for this one it was custard he made the custard i'll just show you guys what it looked like and here we had gone to serve uh, eliora so i, I cut the akara here and k was putting in custard for her which she totally totally enjoyed i feel like eliora ate up to four I don't know why this week they shop. But I said she shop which for because she finished this thing. She still went to take extra. She was still holding extra. Even though she doesn't like wearing bibs, so I don't bother wearing her anymore. The weather was quite cold. If not, I'd have taken off the clothes that she was wearing, you know. But she made a mess. I don't mind. That's my work. I'm a caregiver for now till she's big enough. I don't mind doing it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe, like. Bye.